I'm gonna go to the bathroom and powder my nose. Sit goddamn! <laughs> I feel like crap. I am fasting. And if anybody ever fasts, you know that it freaking sucks, okay? That's what I got right here. Somebody throw me a virtual pizza. Now tell me if you threw it. Pulp Fiction. I'm familiar with some of Quentin Tarantino's work. This is one of them that I just have never seen. I know Sam Jackson's in it. I know my guy John Travolta's in it. And I know that homie Uma Thurman is in it. Full length reaction is on Patreon. It's in the description below, as well as my Instagram account, and as well as my series channel. Let's do it. We got it. It's too risky. I'm through doing that shit. You always say that, the same thing every time. But you forget about it in a day or two? Yeah, well, the days of me forgetting are over. The days of me remembering have just begun. I've seen this guy before. Thank you. Come. I mean, the way it is now. That eye contact was immaculate. You feel what I'm saying? She said, thank you. I'd be like, you're welcome. They robbed a bank with a telephone. Hmm. You want to rob banks? That sounds like something Jackie Banks Chan can do. That if we did, it'd be easier than what we've been That's insane. We keep on one of these goops gonna make us kill him. I'm not gonna kill anybody. I don't wanna kill anybody either. Nobody ever robs restaurants. Why not? Hmm. Bars, liquor stores, gas stations. You get your head blown off sticking at one of them. Restaurants, on the other end, you catch with their pants down. What you about to take, bro? Pancakes? Actually, I... Oh my god, that sounds so good right now. So you got heat on y'all like right now or something? Same as last time, remember? Oh, they do. Crowd control. Uh, oh, 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 oh. After you put the gun just on the table? I love you, pumpkin. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! And I'll execute every mother last one of you! <laughs> wow. I'll tell you one thing. Shit, ain't gonna stop me from finishing my pancakes. I'll die eating pancakes. <laughs> Out of here. So tell me again about the hash bar. Boys. Yeah, it's just legal now, right? Yeah, it's legal, but ain't 100% legal. <laughs> Jerry Curls is crazy. Let your soul glow. And in Paris, you can buy a beer at McDonald's. What they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? I oh, mean, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the f a quarter pounder is. What do they call it? They call it uh, the Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. Is that true? Do I have anybody that watches me from Paris? If so, make yourself known, because I need to know if that's true. You know what they put on french fries in Holland instead of ketchup? Or what? Mayonnaise? Oh. Oh. Any of y'all put mayonnaise on your french fries? Word around the campfire is it was on account of Marcellus Wallace's wife. I really can't tell how old uh, Samuel Jackson was when he made this movie. Gave her a foot massage. Foot massage. Sent a couple of cats over to his place. They took him out on his patio, threw his ass over the balcony. Play with matches, you get burned. You don't be giving Marcellus Wallace's new bride a foot massage. I feel like this is a stupid question. Was that his real hair? I feel like John Travolta, that was his real hair. But that could, I could be wrong with that too. But you know, touching his wife's feet and sticking your tongue in the holiest of holies ain't the same ballpark. Have you ever given a foot massage? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be telling me about foot massages. Oh, oh, so you, so you like them feet. You feel what I'm saying? You like them feet. You suck toes too? What? No judgment. It's weird to me, but you know, no judgment. But you saying a foot massage don't mean nothing. I'm saying it does. Look, I've given a million ladies a million foot massages and they all meant something. We act like they don't, but they do. I mean, that's what's cool about it. Bro, I'm never going to look at a foot massage the same again. Oh. How you boys doing? Hey, keep chilling. We're associates of your business partner, Marcellus Wallace. You're bread, right? Yeah. Hamburgers. The cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. What kind of hamburgers? Um, I mean, no judgment, but y'all eat, y'all eat burgers for breakfast? This is yours here, right? Yeah. You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France? Uh, a ro no. a Royal. Tell him, Vincent. He said a Royal. Royal with cheese. Yeah, Royal with cheese. Royal with cheese. Won't you tell my man, Vincent, where you got the shit here? It's over there. It's I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. We happy? Yeah, we happy. 
I just want you to know how sorry we are that that things got so f***ed up. I never... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please. That was tough. <laughs> that was tough, bruh. What country you from? What? what? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English and what? What? Say what again. Say what again. I dare you. I double dare you. He's bald. Does he look like a bitch? What? I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> Strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Dang. What? Think you're gonna find that's my guy. You know, you know what's sad? I'm so happy to see Bruce Willis, and I've never even seen Die Hards. And also, how is Bruce Willis doing, by the way? I, I understand that. I think. A while ago, something was going on, and it's probably still going on. Clue me in, I guess. See, this business is filled to the brim with unrealistic mother. How many fights do you think you got in you any? Anyway? They got some long, drawn-out scenes. When did the first Die Hard come out, anyway? I feel like it was probably way before this, right? Night of the fight, you may feel a slight sting. That's pride. I feel like I know who that is. Goddamn! What's up with them clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, I just got off the beach. How you been? I see his face. Yeah, I, I knew that was him. I knew that was him. I don't know that dude's name. It's a big man's wife. I'm going to sit across from her, chew my food with my mouth closed, laugh at her jokes, and that's it. Hey, my name's Paul, and this shit's between y'all. My name is Paul, and this shit is between y'all. My name is Bennett, and I ain't in it. My name is Cruz, and I... I'm not trying to lose. What? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I don't remember. <clears throat> I don't remember the last movie I've seen him in. I'll lend it to you. It's a great book on piercing. Well, you see how they use that gum to pierce your ears? I was gonna say I've seen her before, but no, she just looks like somebody. She looks like that girl from Charmed, the TV show. One of the one of the Charmed girls. Why would you wear a stud in your tongue? Sex thing helps fellatio. Yeah. Me, yeah, I know you a freak a deep. If you got the the blingage in your in your tongue, the blingage in your tongue. I put words together so weird. This is real, real, real good shit. But this one, a madman. This is a seller's market. Coke is dead as. Coke is bad for you. You shouldn't be doing it in the first place. Sniff Smarties instead. I am so disappointed to say that. My generation used to do that in high school. We would crush up little Smarties and sniff them. No trial, no jury, straight to execution. Boy, I wish I could have caught him doing it. It's just against the rule. Yo, if a zombie apocalypse broke out, I would definitely go to one of these people, get a bunch of bags, and just be popping their name off. Just throwing in. Zombies wouldn't know what to do. They'd be running into the wall. Yo, man, where the black mamba at? Hi, Vincent. I'm getting dressed. The door's open. Come inside and make yourself a drink. I know that voice. I was just asking about her. Vincent. Vincent. I'm like, what you want, nigga? I'm on the intercom. Go make yourself a drink and I'll be down in two shakes of a lamb's tail. The bar's by the fireplace. I know it's way too early to call anything. I don't even know about the movie yet, but she better not die. Yo, bad ass nigga. That's my dog. That's my dog. Come on, man. Let's go get a steak. You can get a steak here, Daddy O. Don't be a. <laughs> Wait. Let me see if I can do it too. This looks like a straight vibe. Oh my gosh. This dude is out of his mind. Oh man. I wanna get in a car and eat a burger. Hi, I'm Buddy. What can I get you? 
Let's see, steak, steak, steak. A five dollar shake. Hey, you want that shake, Martin and Lewis or Amos and Andy? Martin and Lewis. Did you just order a five dollar shake? Mm-hmm. That's a shake. That's milk and ice cream. Could you um roll me one of those, cowboy? Thanks. Let's be honest. Come on, everybody, be honest in the comments. Who had a who had a crush on her? Somebody in these comments had a crush on her. Do not play with me right now. There is nothing wrong. There's no shame in that. You know an animal jokes? Well, we only got the chance to say one because we only did one show. Tell me. It's corny. Don't be that way. Tell me. Nah, you wouldn't like it and I'd be embarrassed. Oh my God. I hate when people be trying to suck you into something. It... Suck you into a conversation and then they just pull back and be like, no, don't worry about it. I'm like, yo, you already started it. Finish what you're saying. Martin and Lewis. Oh, oh, that looks so freaking good, bro. This is all I get. This shit is empty. I gotta know what a five dollar shake tastes like. It's just a no trick. You can bro. use my straw. I don't have cooties. I have not heard the word cooties in years. Literally, no, no one says that around me. God damn, it's a pre fucking good milkshake. Yeah. Told you. I don't know if it's worth five dollars. Shoot, I'll be glad to find a five dollar milkshake now. Don't you hate that? Hate what? Uncomfortable silences. It's not silent. There's music playing. I feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable. That's when you know you found somebody really special. And you can just shut the f up for a minute. Comfortably share. <laughs> Why'd she say it like that? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of true, but... I'm gonna go to the bathroom and powder my nose. Sit goddamn! Maybe we should have sat in Monroe section. Would you like some coffee? Which one? There's two Monroes. No, there's not. I think this movie is going to mess with my judgment now. Every time I see Uma Thurman, I think of uh, Kill Bill. Now I'm going to think of this. What did you uh, think about what happened to Antoine? Who's Antoine? Tony Rocky Horror. You know him. He fell out of a window. Hmm. It's to say he was thrown out of a window by Marcel because of you. Is that a fact? Oh. So he's kind of uh, pointing fingers at her right now. I can see how she'd be offended. <laughs> you heard Marsalis? Through Tony Rocky Hard at a four story window for giving me a foot massage? Husband almost killing another man for touching his wife's feet is something else. Mm. But did it happen? I mean, yeah, I mean I'll smack a mother freaker. Like don't 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 touch don't touch the lady, you feel what I'm saying? I'd I'd pop you, I'd freaking flick your forehead or something. But I'm not throwing you through a freaking come on, bro. <laughs> Wanna dance? <laughs> No, 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 no. I do believe Marcellus, my husband, your boss, told you to take me out and do whatever I wanted. And now I want to dance. I want to win. I want that trophy. Right. So dance good. All right. Oh. I'm like, I'm hearing about people getting thrown out a freaking window. I don't even want to look your way right now. <laughs> well, I know you can dance, buddy old pal, because uh, your boy watched Grease. Go watch that. That's on the channel, too. Yeah. 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 You can see Yo, he channeling his inner grease right now. <laughs> oh, Sandy. Hey. Hey, Uma, you better work it. I wonder how she did all of this with, like, looking so mean in her face at the same time. Like, no smiling, no happiness at all. <laughs> no. Drinks. Music. Okay. I'm gonna take a piss. That's a little bit more Shoot, I'd be trying to leave. I ain't gonna lie to you, gang. I'd be out of there. I'm like, I took you dancing. I did what I said I was gonna do. I'm leaving. Is it bad that I don't know what this is right now? I feel like it, when y'all tell me what this artist is, I'm gonna feel really bad for not knowing who it is or what it is. You really don't need to, to do that like right now. Oh, um, what the f Oh, Jesus Christ. We're getting out of here. We got to walk now. Hand, you I thought she freaking died. Please. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Why do I not remember that cereal? I used to eat a lot of cereal. Hello, Lance, Vincent, I'm coming to your house. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, hold your horses. She's ODing? She's f***ing dying on me, man! Oh, shit. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. 
Marcellus. You are not Lance. bringing this Lance. that bitch into my house. Do you know who Marcellus Wallace is? Yeah. Do you? He just forcefully involved him. <laughs> oh my god. I would have been so tight. All right, what I need is a big fat magic marker. You got it? Oh. Lance. A magic marker. He bought the prick the mess out of her, bro. He about to plunge that junk in her. What do you mean by that? All right, and then once you do that, you pr press down on the, the plunger. Then, what's ha then what happened? Oh my God, gang, don't mess this up. Oh my God, this is making me scared. Please wake up, just <gasps> do something. Just do, <gasps> do something. Why are you smiling? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. And say something. Something. You want a bagel or something? Oh, she looked like a zombie. <laughs> Yo, I would have been, I would have been so freaking scared. What's your thoughts on, on how to handle this? What's yours? Marcellus know about this incident. I'd be in as much trouble as you. Mom's a word. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go home and have a heart attack. Vincent. Don't you tell me to stay. Do you want to hear my Fox Force 5 joke? Three tomatoes are walking down the street. Papa tomato, mama tomato, and baby tomato. Baby tomato starts lagging behind and pop tomato gets really angry goes back and squishes him says ketchup <laughs> ketchup 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 yeah i'm not just, i'm not gonna keep saying it and then get the joke I, I another time that i just miss a joke bro for the record i get the joke now Stand up. Stand up. yeah do you remember when i Yo, my boy. Hello, little man. I sure heard a bunch about you. I was a good friend of your dad's. We were in that Hanoi pit of hell together. I got something for you. Yeah, that's tough. This watch I got here. This was your great-grandfather's war watch, and he wore it every day he was in that war. What would y'all say your favorite uh movie that Christopher Walken has been in? This dude is freaking goaded. Like, he's literally a goat. The way your dad looked at it, this watch was your birthright. You'd be damned if any slope's gonna put the greasy yellow hands on his boy's birthright. So he hid it. In one place he knew he could hide something, his ass. Five long years he wore this watch up his ass. Then I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass. Two years. Then... <laughs> Gotta hide it somewhere. <laughs> that just caught me super off guard, I'm sorry. It caught me way off guard. <gasps> There's so many quick cuts to like a whole nother storyline in this movie. It's time, Butch. So he's a he's a fighter in here. He's a boxer. He'd be boxing. My guess would be yes, Richard. I could see from my position there the frenzy in his eyes. Give Who are you? Have I seen her in this movie yet? I don't think so. Yo! This dude is a freaking super thug. How you doing? Great. And then thank you for dinner. Think we surprised his ass ain't No, we don't want to think. We want to know. I wonder what would happen if somebody just ripped that off his head. Hey, Lisa. What? You were in that fight. They fight on the radio. You're the fighter? Let me give you that idea. No, come on. I mean, what if I am? You, you trying to box next? <laughs> she, she trying to, you know? Because she trying to. He's dead? The radio said he was dead. Sorry about that, Floyd. Another Bruce Willis movie, at least I know that he's in it. I don't know how much of a role he has in there, but I have not seen Sin City. Somebody give me a comment to let me know if it's worth doing a reaction to. Keep the light off. Oh. Oh. Wait. So that's why he wasn't interested. That makes sense. You know what? I was thinking about taking a shower. I was thinking like a dog. I like the way you stink. Yeah, no. Nah. You know there's such a difference between a pot belly and a tummy. The difference is huge. Pot bellies make a man look either oafish or like a gorilla. But on a woman, a pot belly is very sexy. A, a what belly? Is she saying pop or a pot belly? I'm guessing she's saying pop belly. Pop. P-O-P. -P. Hold it down. If they find us, they'll kill us, won't they? But they won't find us, will they? The kind of money we're gonna have is gonna carry us a long way down there. <laughs> If we wanted, we could live in Bora Bora. You betcha. Butch? Why he extra quiet all of a sudden? Dang, he just fell asleep. I mean, he did, right before all of that, he did do a boxing fight, so. Oh! 
Merde, you startled me. Did you have a bad dream? I mean, it probably got a lot to do with what y'all watching right now. Satisfied? <sighs> yep. Ooh. Yo, love is fire, bro. Love is fire. If if you got somebody that you truly love, God bless, man. God bless. As long as you're with the right one. I'm gonna order a big plate of blueberry pancakes with maple syrup. Eggs over easy and five sausages. Anything to drink with that? You want five sausages? Lord Jesus. Where's my watch? It's there. What's that? You sure you got it? Yes, bedside table drawer. And the little kangaroo? Yes, it was on your little kangaroo. So where the f is it? I have any idea what he had to go through to get me that watch? I don't have time to go into it, but he went through a lot. Yeah, y'all better make sure that watch appears. I don't think she want pancakes no more. Here's some money. Go out and get those pancakes. Have a nice breakfast. Take your home. I'll be back before you can say blueberry pie. Blueberry pie. Aw. That was low-key kind of cute. Like she's basically saying don't go. Now he had to go back for the watch and it's probably curtains now. He's going to run into trouble somehow. That was a bar. I'm about to say you gotta you gotta go look for it. I hope it's there though. If it's not, this man about to flip the freak out. He literally just has to take a chance. He doesn't know if anybody's in there or not. You don't have a, you don't got a piece on you, bro. You don't have anything. There's no way it's that easy. There's no freaking way it's that easy. Maybe I have trust issues. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. So you got time for pop tarts? What? What? Yo. Oh. My God. Oh, shit. He freaking dies? <laughs> oh, I like them both, but what the freak, bro? I'm so damn late. I'm so late. I should have been going through this trauma 20 plus years ago. <laughs> well, actually, no, because I would have been a kid watching this and kids shouldn't be watching this. But you get what I'm saying. That's freaking crazy. That is the last thing that I thought would have happened. I didn't know what the freak was happening. This man dies in a bathroom. Can y'all please tell me what your initial reaction when you first saw this movie? What, what, what was your reaction to that? Oh, shit. Oh, you gotta run him over. My step on that pedal. On that Oh, this movie is going from zero to 100. Oh. Oh, he walking to him like a zombie. He walking to him like a zombie. Wasn't Buddy O' Powell in Dawn of the Dead? Come here, oh. you better kill me. Yeah, somebody's gonna get killed. Toss the weapon. You don't understand, man. Toss the weapon. He's gonna shoot him instead. Oh, okay, he tossed it. Damn. <laughs> Zed. Yeah, the spider just killed a couple of flies. Yo, this is a good ass movie, bruh. I expected it to be. What are you, torture people? Y'all really went into the wrong shop. They painted him to be the big bad the whole time, and now he's in trouble. He's gonna shoot that one. Is that right? You gonna shoot him, boy? I've seen him. It, wasn't he in the mask? He's in a lot of movies. Get him sleeping. Well, I guess you just have to go wake him up now, won't you? He grabbed his neck hard as hell. <laughs> Which one of you want to do first? <laughs> Yo, Quentin Tarantino, let me tell you something, bruh. 
You are a special individual, okay? What a creative mind. <laughs> Damn, that left hook is crazy. He not playing around with that, Larry. Said the boop. What are you doing right now? He's gonna save him? He's actually gonna save him. Um, where's Uma Thurman when we need her? She could've did it. That's what was happening this whole time. I felt like there was a possibility, but I wasn't sure. If you swing it, you better swing. Damn. Oh, so he's like that. Chop his dick off. Chop it off. Go ahead and pick it up. Go ahead and pick it up. Step aside, what? Hey, yo. Damn. Oh, man. I'ma call a couple of hard pipe to go to work on the homes here with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. I ain't through with you by damn sight. I'ma get medieval on your ass. Medieval is crazy. You said he need Jon Snow. Was that considered medieval? I don't think so. <laughs> don't tell nobody about this. You leave town tonight, right now. And when you're gone, you stay gone, which is deal. He like, I got my daddy's watch. I just want to go back to my girl and get the freak out of here. Wow. My boy done got out of harm's way and my boy got a new bike. Indeed. Baby, uh, Is everything well? Just come on, no talking now. Are we in danger? Where did you get this motorcycle? It's not a motorcycle, baby, it's a chopper. Come on, let's go. What happened to my Honda? I'm sorry, baby. I had to crash that Honda. Will you come on now, please? You hurt? Oh, I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry. Mm. Did you get the pancakes? The no, blueberry pancakes? I didn't have blueberry pancakes. I had to get buttermilk. <laughs> they didn't have blueberry. I had to get buttermilk. The buttermilk. Yo, they be hitting too, bro. There's nothing wrong with buttermilk pancakes. What's your favorite kind of pancakes? I need to know. So they really just get away? Is that the end of the movie? You read the Bible, bro. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path. So there was somebody in there the whole time. When I lay my vengeance upon thee. Is he a friend of yours? Oh, Vincent Marvin. Die, you mother! What happened? Did he not shoot anyone? Yo, this mother freaker outlined. We should be dead, man. No, 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 no. That shit wasn't love. This was divine intervention. That means that God came down from heaven and stopped the bullets? That's right. That's exactly what it means. What happened here was a miracle, and I want you to acknowledge it. All right. It was a miracle. So, I wonder if he just, like, quit or something. Like, did he just leave after that? From here on in, you consider my ass retired. Jesus he Christ. actually did just quit? God damn it. I said, don't do that. Marvin, what do you make of all this? Man, I don't even have an opinion. <laughs> you gotta have an opinion. I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped the <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. Oh, man, I shot Marvin in the face. What? <sighs> you just having a conversation with Buddy. And then Kablau. I ain't threatening you or nothing, all right? You know I respect you and all. Just don't put me in this position, all right? Damn, Jimmy. This some serious going made shit. Me and Vincent would have been sad. I was wondering, when when was Buddy coming in here? You feel what I'm saying? We only here because of this right here. I don't need you to tell me how good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. That's a, that's a goat right there. That's a goat of a director. That's a goat. Bonnie comes home and finds a dead body in her house. I'm going to get divorced. And I don't want to get divorced. Uh, I don't really think anybody does. I think it just happens. I don't think nobody wants that. There's nothing that you're going to say that's going to make me forget that I love my wife. <laughs> the one little sip. 
You got to appreciate what an explosive element this Bonnie situation is. I mean, she comes home from a hard day's work, finds a bunch of gangsters in the kitchen doing a bunch of gangster shit. Wait for the wolf, who should be coming directly. You sending the wolf? You feel better, mother... Shit, Negro! That's all you had to say! <laughs> Who's the wolf? I know who that is. Bonnie. I never knew his name, like the actor's name. I feel like I know who it is. Your, My boy! Hey, right, this is your house? I knew that. I knew that was his. Yo, how did I know him from the back of his head? Like, how did I know that? Let's get down to brass tacks, gentlemen. If I was informed correctly, the clock is ticking. Is that right, Jimmy? 100%. You got a corpse in a car, minus a head in a garage. Take me to it. Sister Act. He was in Sister Act. I'm pretty sure he was in the first Sister Act with Whoopi Goldberg. I grew up on that movie. Take the body, stick it in the trunk. Now, Jimmy, this looks to be a pretty domesticated house. That would lead me to believe that in the garage, you're under the sink, you got a bunch of cleaners and cleansers and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Wolf, under the sink. Hey, you two fellas to do is take those cleaning products and clean the inside of the car. I'm talking fast. What you need to take care of are the really messy part. Boys, get to work. Please would be nice. Come again? I said a please would be nice. Get it straight, Buster. I'm not here to say please. I'm here to tell you what to do. I'm here to help. If my help's not appreciated, lots of luck, gentlemen. No, 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 Mr. Wolf. It ain't like that. Your help is definitely appreciated. Mr. Wolf, listen. I don't mean disrespect, okay? I respect you. I just don't like people barking orders at me. That's all. If I'm curt with you, it's because time is a factor. So, pretty please, with sugar on top. Oh, man. He's looking at him like, look, shut man. the hell up I, sometimes. I feel your look. <laughs> He's like, I'm a little agitated, too, but you don't see me talking, bro. <laughs> Yo, About he just really minutes. walking around living his best life. This is his movie. He does what the freak he wants. I want to walk around in my PJs. That's what he said. Your uncle Conrad and Aunt Ginny, were they millionaires? Your uncle Marcellus is. Uncle is rich? If he rich, why well, I don't got that money? I don't got I don't got none of it. Can't send me like a thousand. <laughs> but your uncle Marcellus is more than happy to do. I like oak myself. That's what I have. What is your favorite Quentin Tarantino movie? am I doing in the back? You the should be on brain detail. We're switching. <laughs> we switching. <laughs> you know what you two look like? Like a couple of guys who just blew off somebody's head. Toss them in Jim's garbage bag. You've both been to county before, I'm sure. Here it comes. God damn the water tower. He was having a lot of fun with all that. <laughs> he said... <laughs> Let me get Dash. I need Dash. <laughs> oh. Perfect. Perfect. We couldn't have planned this better. They walked in the joint like that. Okay, okay. On my way, Rex. Hey. We cool? Like it never happened. Boys, this is Raquel. Hi. What's with the outfits? You guys going to a volleyball game or something? <laughs> nah, I said, the, I said the beach. I said the beach. That was the closest I, I got. Move out of the sticks, fellas. Say good night, Raquel. Good night, Raquel. I'll see you guys around. He said, say good night, Raquel, not say good night. <laughs> Respect for one's elder shows character. Because you are a character doesn't mean that you have character. Damn. You are a character. It don't mean you have character. Ooh. I don't know why I just thought he'd be European or something. Yeah, man, he's about as European as English Bob. I know that right. now. <sighs> Stop showing me food. Everything looks so good. I ain't eating nothing. I ain't got sense enough to disregard his own feces. How about a dog? Dog eats his own feces. I don't eat dog either. Yeah, but do you consider a dog to be a filthy animal? I wouldn't go so far as to call a dog filthy. But you know what's crazy about this? Y'all, y'all want a real truth? Some people are filthy animals. That's tough. I mean, it could be God stopped the bullets or he changed Coke to Pepsi. He found my car key. But what is significant is I felt the touch of God. God got involved. It's crazy to say all of this right after he killed somebody. But maybe that's his way of, of, of God saying, yo, this is this your time. You should be out. I'm trying to, this is your last chance. <laughs> Nobody can give an answer. We don't know. And how long do you intend to walk the earth? Till God puts me where he wants me to be. If it takes forever, then I'll walk forever. Ooh. Yeah, walk until your feet bleed. Got some. Coffee. Cheers, look. This is so tough. How they are like mixing all the stuff up like that, bro. 
Oh, shit. Everybody be cool, this is a rubbery! Dad, Dad, Dad! I'm the manager here. There's no problem. No problem at all. You gonna give me a problem? I am not a hero. I'm just a coffee shop. So, the things about, you know what, it's, eh, forget it, ain't even no point to say it, forget it. Gunshot? He just said he was done. In the bag. It's in the case. My boss is dirty laundry. The boss makes you do his laundry? When he wants it clean. Sounds like a shit job. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. Open it. Pray they can't do that. I hate to shatter your ego, but this ain't the first time I've had a gun pointed at me. Stop causing problems! You'll get us all killed! Be cool, honey bunny. Be cool. No problem. I got it under control. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, Ringo. You win. Is that what I think it is? Mm-hmm. Is it just a bunch of money? Yeah, Yo. No. Tell that bitch to be cool. Say, bitch, be cool. All right, now tell her it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Promise. Yo, this shit got super intense. I can't do this shit. I don't want to do it. I can't. But are we? Don't you hurt him? Nobody's gonna hurt Yo, anybody. Where that deep ass voice come from? Don't you hurt him? I want you to let go of your gun, put your palms flat on the table, and sit your ass down. And he don't even got his partner this whole time. He don't got he don't got his partner this whole time. He doing this by himself. You hurt him. You die. Well, that seems to be the situation. But I can't give you this case because it don't belong to me. Besides, I've been through too much shit over this case this morning to just hand it over to your dumb ass. Vincent! <laughs> be cool! Oh, sure. Yolanda, we still just talking. Come on, point the gun at me! Point the gun at me! There you go. Yo, she is terrified. See? They didn't expect all of that, did they? Tell her you're proud of her. Proud of you, honey bunny. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, honey bunny. Now, I want you to go in that bag and find my wallet. Which one is it? It's the one that says bad mother. Open it up. Take out the money. Count it. About $1,500. Okay, put it in your pocket. That makes this a pretty successful little score, huh? Jules, you give that f Nimrod $1,500 and I'll shoot him on general principle. No, Yolanda, Yolanda, he ain't gonna do a goddamn mother. Hey, Vince, shut the f <laughs> I was gonna say he might do it, gay. Path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison. The last time you said that, you shot a nigga in the face. I've been saying that shit for years. And if you heard it, that meant your ass. Right. Maybe it means... You're the evil man, and I'm the righteous man. And Mr. Nine Millimeter here, he's the shepherd protecting my righteous ass in the Valley of Dark. Ooh. The truth is, you're the weak, and I'm the tyranny of evil men. I'm trying real hard to be the shepherd. Go. He gave him all that money. There's been a few intense scenes in this movie, <clears throat> but 100%. That's that's the one for me. I think we should be leaving now. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Indeed. In freaking deed. In freaking deed. Y'all want to talk about goats. There's a lot of them, but there ain't too many people up there with Sam Jackson. Samuel Jackson. This was the last scene. I was loving this movie so much, I didn't even think to when it was ending. Pulp, fiction, this movie was incredible, okay? Quentin Tarantino movies, and no matter how serious the plot of it might look or like look to be, always making you laugh somehow. It's just he has a perfect blend of all of it though. People were getting murked. People was getting in this movie, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but they made it funny. Like this, this, I actually did not expect to laugh as much as I did. Like same thing with Kill Bill, only he can do that. And he always puts the cast together that he knows is gonna deliver. A plus movie, easy. I don't even grade movies anymore, but if I did, 
easy A plus for me. Let me know what you feel about this movie. Do you feel like this is a absolute classic? I feel like most people are gonna hit the green button for that. It should be a classic. I do know that one of the movies that I still have on my list is Inglorious Bastards. Full length reaction is on Patreon. It's in the description below as well as my Instagram account as well as my series channel. I'm gonna get out of here and I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Stay love and stay blessed.